The Whispering Tree. Autumn was always a busy time in Ponyland. Poor Gusty was feeling very upset. She had been so happy and proud when Dame Nature had made her the official autumn helper. I know that I can always rely on you to see that everything is done on time," Dame Nature had said. She had swept up all the leaves into neat piles, but made sure that all the babies caught one to make a wish. Gusty had chosen only the softest leaves to make a warm bed for Dory Dormouse during winter. She waved goodbye to the swallows and sand martins and flycatchers who were flying south. And welcome back the woodcock, the snipe, and the cheerful redwings who didn't mind the cold. But suddenly things were not going well. All the animals who needed a long winter sleep just would not go to bed, no matter how much Gusty coaxed and pleaded with them. Squirrels, hedgehogs, frogs, dormice, please do as I ask," she begged. "I'm not tired," laughed Dory. I haven't finished eating my nuts yet," cried Sally. "Heavy hooves! What can I do?" said poor Gusty. "Dame Nature will be cross when she finds out." "Youngsters can be very silly," said Old Brock. "What you need is the silver acorn. Plant it, and all will be well." Brock is very wise and old. I will do what he says. But I wonder how it will help," said Gusty. Suddenly, Gusty saw something gleaming among the leaves. "I found it!" she cried. "I'll plant it quickly." Immediately, a tiny silver oak tree sprang up. "How quickly it's grown!" said Gusty. "It must be magic." Suddenly, the tree began to whisper softly. "Little creatures need their sleep." Close your eyes and do not peep. Sweetly dream till spring is here. I will guard you all. Don't fear. It's a whispering tree. Look, everyone's yawning," laughed Gusty in delight. The frogs jumped to the bottom of the silver stream. The dormouse curled up, and the squirrels went to their drays. Even the bats were asleep when Gusty went to see. And so was Old Brock. Thank you. Sleep well," whispered Gusty.